coming to the drugs. I hope this is really going to help you. This is what I took when I had COVID-19. We are going to divide the drugs into five categories. The drugs you need as supportive treatment, the drugs you need for symptoms, that is for fever and for your body pain, the drugs you need for anticoagulation, because you know that in COVID, thrombosis or blood clotting is one of the major problems. Then the antiviral drugs. While I am very judicious about usage of specific drugs in early stages of COVID, I would like you to know why some physicians prescribe these drugs because all of them have some rational behind usage. And then finally, I will be talking about the drugs which you need to take in order to protect your stomach as you're taking so many medications. So here goes. Drugs which you need to take to support your immunity, that is vitamin C. I took 500 grams twice a day for a period of 14 days. Vitamin C as an antioxidant, which is very important in viral infections, and it also plays a very important role in production of collagen. Collagen is extremely important for regeneration of cells in the nasal mucosa, the throat, and in the lungs, and that's why vitamin C. Then zinc, I took 50 mg of zinc once a day. Zinc is a coenzyme, as in you need zinc in order for all the hormones, all the enzymes, everything which needs to work in order to fight a disease to work. And that's why you need around 50 mg of zinc once or twice a day. Then coming to vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 plays a very important role by occupying the ACE receptors, which the COVID-19 also likes to occupy and enter your cells. So if you have a good amount of vitamin E, that is about 60 nanograms per deciliter, you have very good protection against viruses. And the dose which I took at that time, because I was already quite loaded, was 60,000 international units once a week for a period of 12 weeks. And that I think should start off the vitamin D half-life in your blood so that you have some protection or some stoppage of replication of the virus. Then is quercetin. I took 250 mg of quercetin twice a day, which is a flavonoid and an antioxidant, and it also plays very similar role to vitamin C. I took a herbal cough syrup, but you can take anything which has anti tussive on the label and dry cough on the label. This means that it will just reduce or suppress your cough so that the other medication you're taking and your immunity starts fighting the virus. Now that we have completed the supportive drugs, let's go to symptomatic drugs. What to do to prevent your fever, your body pain from affecting you. I took Dolo 650, which is paracetamol, twice a day or whenever I felt that I had some fever or body pain, which was only for a couple of days for me, but you can use it as per your symptoms. And when I had headache, I took a tablet called Sinarest, which is also easily available. It's just paracetamol, phenylephrine and caffeine. It really helps to take the headache away, at least for some period of time to give you clarity to think. The third group of drugs are anticoagulants. Yes, all of us know that COVID is a thrombotic vasculitis. So I took aspirin 75 mg once a day. But guys, remember, this video is to tell you why certain drugs are taken. Aspirin is taken so that it thins our blood and it reduces the propensity for us to get clots. But this is a drug which has to be taken only on advice because it has a lot of contraindications and it can also cause unnecessary bleeding. So if you're taking this drug, you have to talk to your doctor about it. There are four other drugs which have some amount of antiviral activity, which are prescribed by physicians, and it seems to help in some cases. Those drugs are favipiravir. The dosage of the drugs is there everywhere, but I'm just going to tell you that if you have a cardiac issue or you have ECG abnormalities, you have to tell your doctor because it is contraindicated in such patients. Azithromycin. Yes, everybody knows about azithromycin and it is being used quite a lot in COVID. I use it only when I see uh, the WBC in the blood test increase to above 11, which means that you're having a concurrent bacterial infection. And azithromycin is prescribed at 500 mg once a day for three days for throat infections. But I definitely would recommend you to ask your physician if it is needed before taking it. Two drugs, doxycycline and ivermectin. 
Both of them have shown to have weak antiviral activity, but I have definitely seen some improvement in home quarantine patients who are mildly ill when they take this drug. So ivermectin is uh, generally prescribed at 12 mg once a day for three days. And again, all these drugs guys have to be taken only on advice of your physician. And point number five, drugs to protect your stomach because we're taking so many medications and the stress of COVID, the stress of inflammation. I took a medication called Famotidin 40 mg once a day, but you can take this or even Pan40 or Omez, whichever you're comfortable with, which reduces your acidity during this tough period which you're going through. And then finally, I definitely recommend lactobacillus three times a day after food so that the bacteria which is lost during this process of COVID-19 is regenerated so that you can absorb nourishment well and you can get through this time without an issue. Hey guys, that's it. So you have the information, you know what to do if you're RT-PCR positive. And that also means that you know how to help somebody who's RT-PCR positive. Share this information, press like if it was useful to you and also subscribe to my channel if you like the information I give. All right, guys, see you soon. Signing off, Dr. Santosh Jacob.